Do I want to move? Yeah. You better believe it. I want to get the hell up out of here. What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. So, <laughs> I feel like such a bum today, but whatever. It, it's been a, a, a day. It's been a couple days. So I normally put out videos on Sundays and Thursdays, so this video is a day late, but yesterday was a day of days. Like, I, there was no time to do anything. Like, so we were just chilling in the house, me and Theo, and then all of a sudden I keep hearing this sound, like I left the faucet running or something like that. So I'm all searching in all the rooms, like who left the water running? So Theo comes and finds me, and he's like, Mommy, the bugs. And I'm like, what bugs, Theo, are you talking about? So I'm just, like, ignoring him. Like, I didn't see any bugs. So I'm still searching for the water sound. So Theo comes back, and he's like, no, Mommy, the bugs. And pulls me by my hand back into the living room where our window is covered in termites. Like, the whole family reunion, an entire Baptist church revival was happening in our window of nothing but termites. Oh, like that's what the so-called water sound was, was the swarm of termites so much we could hear their wings. Like I was so skeeved out. I'm still skeeved out at this point. Like I feel like... Mommy, mommy, I don't mind. You say hi, Theo. I know why they hide. You don't want to say hi? I want to say, I hear a bug in my room. Yes, they were in his room. Like, they were everywhere. So I was like, what the hell am I going to do with all these damn bugs? So I called the office. Mommy, mommy, they're not in my room. They're in the gear or my toy. Okay, yes, they were everywhere, Theo, on everything. So I'm going to insert the clip because I recorded it because... I was refusing for maintenance or the office to tell me that I didn't see what I saw, but it was a swarm of termites. So I'm going to insert the clip here. This is some bullshit. Termites. Live and in full effect. Like, this is actually so freaking crazy. Like, this is insane. Uh -oh, like, all on the damn ceiling. Y'all saw that mess? Like, so I get on the phone with the office and I'm like, um, you need to send somebody because the termites have taken over. And you know what the heifer had the nerve to tell me? Oh, well, let's not call them termites because, you know, we're not really sure what they are. That's what she sounded like, so that's the voice that I'm going to do. So we're not really sure what we're all, they are, so let's not call them termites. Sweetheart, honey, I'm going to need for you to send somebody over here no matter what the hell they are. So, she's like, okay, well, I'm going to um, send the head of maintenance over in about an hour or two when he gets done. No, I need him here right now. Like, what you need an hour or two? The termites are here right now. They didn't wait an hour or two. They're here right now. I need you to send him right now. So, she's like, okay, well, I'll see if we have someone else that we can send. So like 15 minutes later, a maintenance worker knocks on the door and comes in and he's like, oh, I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know what this is. So then the half a lady from the office knocks on the door after he's already come and is inside 
she knocks on the door like, oh, can I just see what you're talking about, what they are? Sure. I didn't know you were an exterminator, but whatever. Come see the foolishness so you know that this was an emergency. So she comes in and she's like, oh, yeah, I just think they're ants. That was my face. Ma'am, sweetheart, honey, those ain't no goddamn ants. They came out of the window seal, sweetheart. The whole family came out of the window seal. So now I'm looking at the window seals with her and I'm like, there are so many holes in this window seal and you can tell that you guys have known about this problem because the holes were painted over. So that's why we never saw them when we moved in because you just painted over the termite holes and they chewed through that mess and came out. She's like, oh, that I just, it's a little damage. It's not a little damage. I took pictures of that mess in search here. Okay, so I'm making a grilled cheese sandwich right now, but let me finish the story. So, oh my gosh, like I can laugh about it now, but yesterday I was on fire. Like this woman, steady trying to diagnose the problem without really calling it a problem. So, I'm like, you know what? I can't stay in this house. Y'all figure out what we gonna do about these bugs and we'll be back. So I took, so I went into my room, that was first. Went into my room to like get my shoes on and everything because I was gonna take Theo to the park while they resolved the swarm of termites. What now? Alexa? This is a reminder, start eating. I am. But I was like, I'm gonna take Theo to the park. So I go in the bedroom, my bedroom, get my shoes on. And I'm just like, you know what? Because our curtains are black. We like the blackout curtains. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to check our window just to make sure that it's only in the living room. When I pull that curtain back, whole another swarm. So I'm calling the people in there like, um, excuse me, there's more in here. We had holes in our window seal too. Like it was... They were everywhere. The only place they weren't was in the boys' bedroom. But I mean, they're in the carpet. They're crawling across our bed. I'm like, I can't sleep here tonight. Like, do you know how much I would have freaked out if I woke up and there was all them bag bugs all over my bed? I would have flipped the shit. And I'm trying so hard not to curse, but... And then the lady is like, oh, okay, well, I called for an exterminator. He said it's an emergency visit, so he's going to be out here at around 4. Mind you, this happened at like 1030 in the morning. So you want me to wait until 4 for the exterminator to come. She's like, you know, they'll just set off some bombs. And I'm like, ma'am, I have never heard of termites being killed by no bombs. This is not roaches. Like, this is not a hood problem. This is a country problem, and I need you to fix it. Oh. I'm like burning my grilled cheese sandwich. It got me hot all over again. Where was I in the story? Oh, so after I alerted them that we had termites in our bedroom as well, I grab Theo, we go to the park. Now again, I told y'all, this happened at like 10.30. So she's saying the exterminator's not coming till 4. I can't stay at the park that long. Like, it was chilly outside. I mean, who can stay at the park that long? Like, love Theo to death, but not from 10.30 to 4 o'clock. I can't do it. So we stayed out there for like an hour. We come back to the house and by that time 
the lady from the office had left. The maintenance man had left, but he was such a sweetheart because he got their like power vacuum and he vacuumed up all the termites because they had started to die. Like I guess it didn't take that long. Like they started to die. So it was nothing but bodies and like wings all over the place because apparently their wings shed as well. So we had wings all over the floor, wings all over the chairs, just everywhere. Like even right now, you can't go and touch the curtains without wings falling out. Like they were everywhere. So he got their power vacuum and he like vacuumed up all the bodies that were all over the floor, he vacuumed the carpet since they were all in the carpet, vacuumed off the chair, got as many wings and bodies as he could. But then four o'clock finally rolls around and the exterminator comes and he's like, oh yeah, this is definitely termites and I'm going to have to write up a quote and then give it to the property manager about how much it would cost and that should take a couple days. What do you mean? So you want me to live here like this with the termites? for a couple days to see whether or not the property manager is going to approve of your quote. So I'm calling up, I'm walking up to the office at this point. Like I had called her on the phone and as I'm talking to her, I'm walking. So I get to the office, go into her office, and she's like, oh, you know, that's just the procedure of how things are done. When he sends in his quote, then I'll give it to my boss and they'll go over it. And, you know, they'll decide whether or not they accept it or if they want to try and have another exterminator come. So meanwhile, while y'all figure this out and he decides whoever your boss is decides whether or not he wants to pay for the quote. They really just expect for us to live like this. This is not life. This is not, no. How do you expect, like, I didn't even feel like the house was clean enough for us to eat in, like, cook in. All I wanted was to bathe and leave. Like, all those bugs. So, She's like, well, you know, we can um, offer you another apartment if one is available. That's the size that you guys have now. Or if you wanted to go to something bigger. But now our apartment is on the first floor. And we got the apartment on the first floor because of my MS. So if I'm ever having a flare and I can't walk, I don't have to worry about going up two flights or three flights of stairs depending on if our apartment was on the second level or the third level. So if it's not on the first floor, then we didn't want it. And of course, they have no apartments available on the first floor. Not a three bedroom, not a four bedroom, like not a two bedroom, definitely. There was nothing available on the first floor. The only thing they had available was like a, a four bedroom on the third level, like no thank you. So, she's like, well, you know, you also, um, so now I'm talking to her like, okay, well, what if we moved out and went somewhere else? She's like, oh, well, you know, you would have to give us the 30-day notice, and then you would still have to pay the lease, the breaking your lease fee, which I think would have been like, it's another month's rent. If you break your lease, you have to pay another month's rent, plus that month. So, I'm like... But why? Like, there's no way. Like, we wouldn't be moving if it wasn't for the fact that there were termites. So now you want me to pay another month's rent for something that's completely not our fault at all. So she's like, well, you know, that is true. But when I go and I give the quote to my boss, I'll also talk to him about this because he may be able to waive the fee given the circumstances. Like, May, he better. Like, what do you mean? So, 
I leave her office and I'm on the phone with Thomas because he's at work. During all of this, he's at work. So he's like, so he's hot, like I'm hot. So he's like, well, yeah, then we're definitely going to move out of there because that's going to be too long for us to be basically living with these termites. So now as I'm walking back to the house, let me pick you guys up. So now, as I'm walking back to the house with Theo, and as we get closer and closer to the house, I'm now like in front of the house on the outside, like where the windows were that the termites came out of. I'm standing there and I'm looking at it and I'm steady swatting at these bugs and I'm like, oh, it's flies or something. George is good for flies. They got a bunch. But then, as I'm looking at the window again, the damn termites is back. They're still out. A whole new swarm has come. And I can see them moving on the outside of the window. So now, I'm super pissed. Like, I don't even know what to do. I'm definitely not going in the house. Like, I'm just going to let these termites do their thing and accomplish whatever it is they were trying to accomplish. Go wherever the hell they want to go, eat up all the walls and window seals and whatever that they wanted to eat up. Because at this point, the way I'm feeling about the apartment is, this ain't my house, okay? This is not mine. This is their property. They're the ones who need to love and cherish it and care for it. This is not my problem. So I'm going to let these termites go and do whatever it is they're trying to accomplish. And I'm just going to wait till they're done. So it was so many of them that I don't know if it was because the window was open that they were getting outside. like, But the screen was still down. So I don't think that they were getting out through the window. But... Somehow, some way, there were termites flying around. So the things that I thought were flies and I was swatting at, those were termites. And it was nothing but birds outside our window eating the termites as they were flying around. Like, the birds ate good yesterday. They ate real good. So, as this new swarm is happening, I just take Tom Tom and Theo, because now Tom Tom has gotten off the bus from school, like, so I have both kids, so I'm like, you know what, we're just going to go to the park again, again, <laughs> and Tom Tom, you're going to do your homework at the park, and Theo, you can go play, and I'm going to go holler at the people in his office again, so I go back in there, I'm like, uh, the termites are back. I'm not going back in my house until something is done or they die and then y'all go do what y'all need to do. Whatever. Fix something. So she said, like, okay, well, I'm going to call the property manager right now. Like, we're definitely going to handle this for you. So go back outside. Tom Tom finishes his homework. He goes and plays with Theo. By this time, Thomas is off of work. Big Thomas is off of work. So now he's home, and he pulls up, sees us at the park, and he's like, why are y'all out here? And, like, I tell him about all the termites that are inside of the house at the moment, and I'm waiting for them to die before I go back in. And he's like, oh, no, this is unacceptable. And I'm trying to tell him, like, I already handled it. I talked to the lady. This is what she said she's going to do. Hopefully something can be done today. So, Thomas isn't the kind of person who can let stuff go. He still has to put his two cents in. So, he goes to the office, and now he's talking to the lady. So, I don't know if that's what she needed to, like, light an extra fire up underneath her, but she comes out to the park and is like, okay, I talked to my boss and he's going to have the exterminator come back and he's going to do some spraying today for you guys. Like, thank you so much. I don't know what Thomas said. If he went off, I have no clue what he did, but she came back and we got the exterminator come back and he sprayed. He sprayed outside around the house because that's how he said 
the termites were getting in, like they were from the outside in is how they were moving. So he sprayed outside around our apartment and then he came in and like sprayed inside of the holes in the window seal. And he said we should be good. But I'm still looking at them windows with the side eye because I don't trust it. Now, we've been wanting to move into a bigger place, but Thomas, like his contract is up. And so we're going to be moving out of Georgia by like December anyway. So my thing is, do I want to move? You better believe it. I want to get the hell up out of here. But I also don't want to switch Tom Tom school because the school year is not over yet. So if we move out of this apartment, if we can't find another house that's like within this school district, he would have to switch schools, which I don't want to do when you only have like a month and a half left of the school year. Because I mean, that, that just seems like dumb to me. Like we're already going to be moving so much as it is, given his job, his, his jobs, his dad's job. I don't want to just cause him to just have to keep bouncing around from school to school and making new friends and repeating the process over and over. So that's the one reason why I, main reason why I don't want to move. In December, like the army will come and pack our stuff. They'll move everything for us to our new house in whatever state, whatever house, wherever we go. So I'm banking on that. I want to wait until then. But I also don't want to live with termites. So, yeah, we're kind of stuck. Super kind of stuck. Very much stuck. Like, I need to go to TomTom Tom School and, like, get a copy of their bus list of, like, all the bus routes and everything just so I can see what other neighborhoods we can move to with him still being able to go to that school so we can at least finish there before we move. But then, even then, this summer, Thomas goes to the end of April, beginning of May, Thomas goes to NTC where he'll be gone for a month. So, once again, it would be me doing all of the moving. Um... I don't know what we're gonna do. I really don't want to stay here though, but I have no idea what we're gonna do. So, all right, guys, <laughs> that is the end of this story time. I, I'll fill you guys in in another video later on about what we decide to do. But as of right now, it is all up in the air. I haven't seen any more termites come out, but I'm still like so skeptical. Like I always feel like things are crawling on me now. So I don't know what we're going to do. But I'll let you know. So please don't forget to like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.